Okay, so now this seems to be in good shape. And then we want to add these guys to, I, th I guess they're already in that render layer. So under surface shader. Um, so these have been assigned and you can see what they look like. So, and even we can, we could just render this right now. And that's, did that render both layers? And so the render settings are surface shader. I think it's rendering both. So it's somehow, it's set to render all layers. Okay. So now one thing that I want to do is actually add a tune shader, tune outline, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so we go to tune and we can either add it here or we could do up here in the, the menu, assign outline, new tune outline. I'll do it this way. And now what you see, so this really, uh, so now we see an outline. It's hard to see with it selected, but we've created a paint effects tune right here. And if I deselect it, you see these nice outlines. And so if we render it, and again, this has to be a software render, you'll see these nice outlines. So what I wanna, maybe I should disable the AO rendering for now. Let's see if that would work. Surface shader. Okay. And this is low quality right now, but we could we could change that. Um so these outlines are just like their own geom it's like a, the paint effects is its own thing. It's hard to understand how it's working, but it's it's another kind of software layer on top of this. So it looks like geometry, but it it's kind of its own thing. Uh you can change the line width, so we can go with like thicker lines that are pretty pronounced. I think the 0.15, and then I think it's actually good to just to use render settings with a. Let's basically go to a, a 1k square, and then under. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start creating these the rent the layer override. So we always want the so the surface shader render to use Maya software, and then we're gonna want the AL layer to use Mental Ray because that's gonna be the ambient occlusion. So create layer override. So those will always associate with the right type of renderer. And then let's just go ahead and do production quality, and then. There's going to be paint effects options, which are going to improve the outline quality, which we'll be able to see. So let's try this. So you can always get it to the right scale so there's not weird aliasing by hitting this one-to-one -one button right there. So doot. So like these, these lines look a little bit funky in some places. And then I think if you do the oversampling somehow that will sometimes improve the quality of the, the line there's there's also settings that you you might want to play with in terms of uh, whether you do shader boundary or edge and shader boundary. And you can also get rid of crease lines. That might look a little bit nicer. I think that looks probably okay. And then maybe just, I don't know about the edges though. Yeah, actually, I just help. <laughs> so, so there's there's just lots of uh, settings to play with here. So I'll just go ahead and do edge and shader boundary. Um, we don't want this occlusion. 
and then there's just different thresholds that you can do you play around with like where the line the, the various lines appear or or end <laughs> so so those are just parameters to tweak mm -hmm. um, so I think that's worth playing with I mean you can you can play it with all these settings all day So I think I'm going to just go back to 0.15. And I forget exactly what um, what settings I ended up using, like favoring for the tune outlines, but um, you can play with them. Yeah, I would just I would play with them. And then if you actually have a really big geometry, then you can just turn off the display and viewport and it'll, because this actually just drives the performance a lot. Okay, so cool. I think we basically have this scene ready to go. The last thing to make sure is that whether this paint effects tune is actually in our render layer, which I think it is because it's been showing up in the, okay. in the renders. There's, it's not in here. Okay, so then in the next video, we'll set up the ambient occlusion.